So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for the next episode of Agatha All Along. This has been one of my favorite things this October. I feel like it is the perfect mixture of fun and kind of spooky, creepy. It's just, it's October in a show. The costumes have been stunning. The music has been everything. I'm really enjoying this. As always, the more extended version of this reaction is going up over on Patreon. The link to that's in the description down below. There's a bunch of reactions going on over there. We're doing a movie special for Halloween. So there's gonna be a bunch of film reactions going up in the lead up to Halloween. On top of the usual content, like reactions for shows like X-Files, Angel, Handmaid's Tale, Star Trek, a bunch of stuff. So the link to that's in the description, along with the link to my Twitter, my Instagram, anywhere so you can find me. I'm just gonna mention it here. I'm probably gonna post a separate video as well, but I wanna um, mention it here if there's eyeballs on this video. I'm gonna be doing a Halloween special this October where I'm gonna be interviewing a bunch of people from classics. So all things October, fall, Halloween, films, TV shows, authors, anything got to do with horror or the month of October in general. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I have a few very, 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 very special guests that I cannot wait, I can't wait to share with you guys. I'll probably be starting the upload process of that in the upcoming week, hopefully. I'll be posting a separate video saying pretty much the same thing in that. But yeah, I thought I would let you guys know here first. So let's go with Agatha. Yeah, the visuals and the, the action sequences have been so stunning. My boy is in yours. He's probably Wanda's, but I do like the idea of the, the old plot twist, the switcheroo. He just turns to her and is like, Mom? The titles as well for the episodes are fucking stellar. Is it bad that I want to live here? Oh, you have the fallen leaves, the fog. I want to live here. Got the Death Eaters, traipsed in the forest, struck in the trees and shit. Never mind, this is not my aesthetic. <laughs> I don't want to be here. They've put such, like, terrifying uh, horror visuals into this. We left the door open. What are you talking about? What did you see? I saw an open door and a bunch of freaks twitching on the ground. Well, Agatha killed her original coven by stealing their power. Because her own mother tried to have her executed. Ooh, you know, you're in her corner. Come on, someone finish the story. She spared their young children. Yeah, and then they became a feral, hive-minded coven bent on revenge. Moral of the story, kids. Always finish what you started. Don't leave anyone alive, because their bloodline will come back to haunt you. Oh wait, really? Your sense of direction is impeccable. What about a hex and Do it! Do do the spell! Do the spell! Rooms have been co-opted by the holiday industrial complex as an absurd emblem of our culture. They're basic. Rooms are basic? No, they're not. They're heavy metal as all shit! Flying around on a bit of twig, that's cool. I get one? You should give me one back, yeah. Yeah, let me just... He's doing very well for someone who nearly died last episode. He bounced right back. We're doing arts and crafts out in the forest now with the coven. Uh oh. oh how is he supposed to keep up if he doesn't know how to do it? Try praying to the Divine Mother. Divine Mother of Broomstick Riding. Does he even have a license? Oh, look at that visual. The show is so beautiful. This is fun. Why would you not want to ride a broom? Oh my god, I would use that as my mode of transport everywhere. Going down to the shops, uh, on the broom. Why haven't we been doing this all along? Because it's too cool, we had to keep it till later in the season. Duh. The next trial. Did he just say there's Trump? It's the last thing you want to see on the road. Camp Crystal Lake of us. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Is complete the trial and continue on before they can reach us, okay? My small book. I can't. I can't find it. Where'd you have it the last time? Out there, before we took off on the brooms. Forget it. When the veil between the living and the dead is at its thinnest. What does that have to do with Agatha? We, we have to Ouija. No, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. I do not fuck with anything like that. Don't pick up that board. Oh, huh. you want to open another door, do you? You want to open another uh, portal where Spanish people can communicate with you and walk yes. right into your party. English. Do not use the Ouija board alone. How much do you want to guess someone's going to forget to close the session? I repeat, do not taunt the spirits. 
Not under any circumstances, remove your hand. Someone's from the gonna get scared to go, <gasps> and let go of the planchette. So, spirit will be released. It blows my mind that that board is sold in like toy shops. Thomas. It's actually a really good film, uh, Ouija Origin of Evil. I might be watching that again this year. It's a really good film about all stuff Ouija. My question is, why the fuck is it spelled that way? My dyslexic ass cannot comprehend. Spirit. S. H. I. A. Close enough! Mrs. Hart? Oh, I thought it was Mr. Shirt! Girl. Oh, my God! Dyslexia! Oh, my God. She's about to take off with that fucking helicopter blade of a hairstyle. Here I was, living my tiny life in the burbs. Conspiracy theories on Facebook. Girl, you gotta get into them conspiracy theories on TikTok. They're way wilder. She's Agatha. Don taunt the spirits was like two me. rules in the lineup. If I was a spirit, I would fucking kick your ass. Seven ways oh, to Sunday. Aiden, Mother Crowley. Now we're gonna get a real spirit, and it's gonna be Agatha. Stop doing that, and Agatha's gonna be like, I'm not doing anything. Who is here with us tonight? E. A. T. H. Uh, there's a word I can fucking spell and understand. <laughs> no one's supposed to ask about that. Shh. We weren't supposed to taunt the spirits neither, but you know. If we're breaking one rule, we might as well break them all. Who do you want to punish? Don't take your hands off. Don't take your hands off. Close the session. What are we doing? Nothing. We're just trying to break every rule that there is. Irresponsible Ouija board owners is what you are. Serious. Oh my god, we're really getting on board with this series so fast. Let's talk about this for a minute. Nah, I'm okay. I'm all talked <laughs> out. It's been a long day at fucking freaky camp. I want to go to bed. Yeah, I'm fine. I just needed a dance break. Some interpretive dance moves. That is scary as shit. Props to the makeup department. Ugh. Stop that, it's not funny. Eleanora Harkness of the Salemites. Hey, Harkness? Um, nice having you in my body for a second there. You know, people are like, I'm turning into my mother. She took it to the next level. You, you must finish the witch's world. We're trying to do that, you when interrupted us. She means punish Agatha. I'm not gonna do that, because that's... <laughs> With me. No! A minute ago you were ready to slit her throat. That's now, different. Her mother can't have her. I want to kill her. You were born evil. Gee, thanks. I ought to have killed you the moment you left my body. The only danger to us in this trial is Agatha Harkness. I can be good! We're not gonna leave her. Yeah! Let's use our witchy streaks. Ah, oh, don't rob her power! Agatha, she saved your ass! That shouldn't count as successfully passing a trial. You didn't pass it! Someone's dead on the ground! That's not a win! She looks a bit dehydrated. Give her some water. Alice! Alice, come on! Alice, come on! She is stone cold, Agatha. She's gone. If we make it off this road, there's gonna be nobody here with us. We are losing people, right, left and centre, they're dropping like flies. How could you kill her? I couldn't, I couldn't control it. Yes, you could have. Don't lie to me. Death comes for us all. Okay, but it came for her just a little bit quicker, given the fact she had the power and the life sucked out of her. Oh, we've shifted into fucking creepy modes. What's with her? I don't know if I like her or not. I can't make up my goddamn mind on her. You're so much like. So she knows who his mom is? It's totally Wanda, isn't it? This poor kid, he fucking idolized her. He would have worshipped the ground she'd walked on. Oh, the child's twitching blue? Death by quicksand? 
Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, no, we're gonna be fine. Okay, we can't all die. We can't all die in episode, like, six or whatever this is. What a song choice. There's no way we just lost three of the main cast. I think they've just been put... You know, you know where somebody is saying, you know, put someone on ice? They've been put on moss or put on the quicksand or the slushy earth they were standing on. That was a very Wanda shot towards the end. He's got, that's, that's Wanda's kid. He's got the little crown thing as well. That, I think I've said this one every episode, but I think that was my favourite one so far this season. That reveal at the end, that kind of evil moment. I mean, was it evil? He was trying to protect Agatha from the other two and then, oh... The yeah, lads, if you want to see the more extended version of this episode that goes up over on Patreon, I've said it once and I'll say it a million times because I still get comments about it. The versions I post to YouTube are shorter and they're more edited. They're more cut up and choppy uh, for for reasons. To try and dance around copyright. The ones over on Patreon are much less edited and much more relaxed. Uh, yeah, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere is linked down below. And keep an eye on my channel for those interviews. I don't know what the uploading schedule is going to be just yet, but I'm going to be uploading quite a few. Um... And I'm so excited for them and I've been working on them for a few weeks now and I hope you like them. So keep an eye out for them. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon.